This tutorial is about respawn points and I'll be showing you a little demonstration in this map that I just brought out. Here I'm playing with Cryptics and a couple others and we're the last two alive, me and Scrappy here. And there are, yeah, so the two of them are dead and you know, we're quite far into this. This is a hardcore map. There's no way you'll survive if you start at the spawn. And there you go, round change. Uh, we've got the time gameplay, so it's instant round change. And boom, there they are. They're in the game. They're, they're near us. They're not back at the spawn. And they survive. So in a lot of maps, you're going to want this sort of feature uh, where the players are going to be spawning into uh, a, a new zone rather than the start zone. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Radiant. And I'll explain what's going on here in just a second. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the description and get the link to the download. So here we are. This will bring you to this page. And this is the respawn points. And this is thanks to Harry BO21 and DTZ Porter. Uh, and this is on the ModMe website. So these guys have made this and they've done a great job. So don't forget to thank them and credit them if you do use this in your map. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is download this file. This will send you to a mega link and here you will get a map and you're gonna to wanna to just copy this and save it into your Black Ops 3 route. So if I go to my Black Ops 3 route, what you're gonna to wanna to do is download it and then cut it and then paste it into your map source and then go to prefabs and you can put it in anywhere in here but I put mine in a folder called custom and so if you see down here we have map uh, here we go respawn point yeah respawn points map and that's where I put it okay so once you've done that we can close this all down and go over to radiant and in radiant we're going to be using the prefab browser to grab these respawn points. So the way these respawn points work is they will actually, uh, they'll check to see how close the live players are and it will pick the closest location and respawn them um, at the points that you create. So uh, there are a couple things you need to do to set it up. First things first, if we right click at the top and we go to the prefab browser, and then don't forget to hit reload to make sure that the changes come in. And if we go here to custom where I put it, and here we go, we have respawn points here. I have a different one here as well, but don't worry about that. Drag that into your map, and you should see these cyan uh, respawn points pop up. So here's what you would do is, this is what I would do, is I would drag it above ground like this, so that they're above ground. Then I would stamp it. You can right click prefab, stamp prefab. And then you want to grab the four that are at the bottom there. Make sure they're selected and make sure that they are nicely in the zone if and they're not overlapping. And then what you can do is use this leveling tool. So I'm going to take off this place, uh, uh, this random scale rotation and we're going to hit this option here so you should only have the zero level here and once you've hit that zero level then hit the button here on the right which will place them on the floor and that is almost it the last thing we need to do is just go and see what zone this is we are in zone four so i did that by going to the entity info for this zone you can right click here to go to the entity info when you have something selected so here we go, we're in the entity info and this is zone four. So we know this is zone four and now you wanna to go to the middle, the top one, the one that's above all the rest and just go to where the script noteworthy is and change that to the zone target name. In this case, that is zone four. There we go. Okay, and that is pretty much it guys. So once you've placed that here, we have set up a respawn location in zone four. And if we go around the map, you'll see that I have one in zone five as well. And if we keep going around the map, we'll see that we also have one up here. And this is the one in the demonstration here. This is the zone, I believe this is zone six. Respawn, yeah, that's the zone six and so forth. So you can set these up in every zone so that players will be spawning in. And you can see here is where it was in the demonstration. So this is a really handy thing to have and it's an essential thing for bigger maps. Um, so yeah, thank you Harry and thank you DTZ uh, Porter 
for making this so i hope this helps you out guys don't forget to smash a like on this video and subscribe stay tuned for more and this has been it this has been ice grenade if you have any comments then don't forget to put a comment down in the comment section and i'll catch you again soon this might be something that you're interested in and this map was made on stream so if you go on the channel you will find all of the links to the different videos that this map was made uh, over the live streams with so you can yeah there's lots of content there you can see how everything was made uh, you can just jump through the videos and figure things out from there i explain what i'm doing as i'm doing it so you might find a few tips and pieces or just yeah stay tuned hit that notification bell so that in future when i do a stream you can stay you, know, you can you can pick up a few things or maybe it just interests you to watch it anyway anyway have a wonderful day see you then bye